afternoon all. Let's have uh, one or two games today. Uh, was a bit lucky yesterday. Um, okay, maybe more Smith Gambit. Oh, what? What is this? <laughs> I'm hoping he didn't expect d4. It was just a pre-move. Um, I think I'll go for a quick e5 and bishop d5. Bishop b5. Mostly, I've got this processing in the background. I don't know how it's going to affect my speed. I'm processing a video in the background actually for a Nigel Short simul, which I'm hoping will be cool. But um, let's play this maybe. Now e6. So going for it. Mind you, there's bishop takes c3 check and bishop b5. Uh, so maybe a bit of caution will be good here. Um, this isn't so hot. If he takes queen d5, he's going to get the knight back. He's got f5 control. It's not looking too great. Ah, uh, I've been positionally done over through this surprise knight a5. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, uh, what's this? Okay, I'll take an e6 and g7. Try and weaken king side at least. We're taking on c3. Maybe f5 just to blast open this bishop before knight f5 happens. So knight takes f5 I can just castle and now I've got a bishop which has actually got some scope to it. So maybe it's not all bad. Aha! Exchange sack. Right. Um, 93, uh, I don't know, try and get some pressure on maybe Rook, AE1, can I use this exchange or is it a bit academic, maybe G4, Bishop H6, trying to just get on F8, well Bishop H6 here, looks good, Knight takes H6, Queen F8, and there's G4 coming up, maybe crude idea of Queen F8, so before these Knights take over the position, can I play G4? Ah. Uh, Interesting. G4. Tactics at the rescue of uh, strategy. Mind you, knight g7. Play anyway. Oh no, there's knight takes h6. So, okay, I'll just drop this back here for a sec. Uh, Alright, it's pinned, so g4 here, if it's pinned. Hmm. Okay, so a tricky question to answer. Tactical question, or is it? Oh! Maybe it's not. If I play Queen F4, am I getting done over? Queen F4, trying to keep the pin. I hope not. There's no knight f3 now, so g takes if he attacks my queen again, would attack his queen, his or her queen. Okay, what's going on now? Do I play g takes or do I play another move like rook d1 to get the queen off f3? Because the knight's not going anywhere here, so what about just rook a d1? Because rook f and then knight f. Looks dangerous. Mind you, knight h4. No, the knight's pinned. Knight f3 is harmless. So I'm going to slip in rook d1 to be cheeky. So with the queen side on c6, I'm still faced with the same issue though. This uh, takes and then knight f3. I'll have to just give up the exchange with rook takes f3. Unless there's anything clever here, I don't think so. So knight f3 I'll to take, rook f3 maybe queen g2. So queen g2 here. So 
a bishop up for um, free pawns. Okay, it's still tricky though, isn't it? Things are not resolving in this game. If I take on c6, I'll be facing this armada of pawns. But what else? Maybe I have to. It's double pawns anyway. Let's get let's get the rook off as well. I'll just face the pawns. Okay. Can I set up any blockades which are any mean? Can I go after this a7 pawn? Ah, I have to play this to play bishop c7. What about c4 here? We'll try and fix this pawn. Uh, so a5 is probably going to play a6 now to stop a6, right? Okay. So all his pawns are going on light squares. Uh, let's put this pawn there. Right. I don't know. A sort of blockading diagonal. How do I wait? Scary. Taking off one of my last pawns. Uh, this king's going to come in. My double pawns here stop an immediate queenside robbery. <clears throat> so e4, maybe I get a nice blockade on the dark squares of e4. Okay, so it's coming in for the pawns over here. Uh, it's not looking too hot now, is it? If I try and get my king over again, it doesn't matter about the treble pawns. D3 is more worrying. Maybe, ah, oh, D3, I don't know what to do. If I play king f2, d takes, bishop e3. Maybe that's the only way to play it, to get in bishop e3 here. Ah, oh, no. Too many pawns. Too many pawns. Unless my bishop's very good there. <laughs> We're going to get a ridiculous situation now. He's going to get all my pawns, isn't he? Um, if needed. Can I just wait here for a sec to try and win this c2 pawn? Can I try and win c2? Or another one? As soon as he plays king a2, I won't be able to play king d3, even if he deflects with this pawn. I want to be able to play back to d3. So this is fun. Uh, can I survive this? <sighs> okay. No, it doesn't look likely, you know, that I'm going to be able to survive this. Um, I'm in Zugzwang. That's a real shame. <laughs> oh, there it is. Unless I can go for the a6 pawn here. And king c4 looks a bit cheeky actually. Because then king there uh, takes, and then he's got uh, king b6, e3 takes, e2, king b7. Queen a6. I don't know. Is there a drawing chance there? He's got 20 seconds to work this out. 20 seconds to work this out. Is he not going to play c1 automatically? I, I have to. I have to um, go for this. Oh, I should have got into the corner. No, what have I done? I didn't get into the corner. <laughs> Oh, there's no stalemate here, is there? Is there? <laughs> I doubt it. Ten seconds. Oh, it's getting mated. Oh well. That was fun anyway, while it lasted. Uh, so even a bishop up, it was just too much. So this provocation, knight a5, interesting. Uh, I need to have just won a piece, of course, here, because uh, bishop c3 and bishop b5. 
I, I didn't really ever like my position really in this game, even though I was winning material here. It seemed as though uh, it was always tricky. This position is just tricky, isn't it? The pawns are just coming forward. Uh, okay. Comments or questions on YouTube? Oh, there. 